Welcome back to our channel, where we share the latest news and untold stories about Catherine, the Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Catherine is in tears over King Charles's touching gift to Louis's birthday amid the cancer battle. I wish Prince Louis an enjoyable sixth birthday. Prince William and Princess Catherine release a snapshot of their youngest child, taken by the Princess of Wales, as they celebrate the special day of their youngest son. The photograph is really charming. In recent years, they've pleased royal admirers by posting fresh photographs of their kids to commemorate key milestones. The pair then celebrated Prince Louis's sixth birthday by posting an image of him that had been shot by the Princess of Wales on social networking sites with the caption, Happy sixth birthday, Prince Louis. I appreciate all the warm wishes I've received today. The Princess of Wales captured the snapshot, which shows the young royal relaxing on the grass at home with a blanket. Louis, who's decked out in a shirt with a checkered pattern and shorts in a dark blue, grins at his mum while folding his arms and resting over a picnic blanket that's creamy and tan. While King Charles is rushing to carry out his plan to preserve the royal title for Prince Louis, he's also making a significant effort to give a significant present to his grandson. According to reliable sources, the title that he saves for Prince Louis might come from either Prince Andrew or Prince Harry. King Charles is completely supports and loves the casual and enjoyable manner in which Princess Catherine and Prince William are parenting their kids. This is due to the reality that his own upbringing, in addition to his mum's childhood before him, was not perfect. King Charles also makes a comment to the Prince and Princess of Wales concerning the manner in which Prince Louis behaved when he was six years old. According to a source, Queen Camilla has said that Prince Louis is a tough individual to manage since he's a wild youngster. It's well known that King Charles has a deep affection for Prince Louis, and it should come as no surprise that our cameras were able to capture the moment that he was gazing at Prince Louis in a breathtaking photograph, as well as the tender moment when he continued to look at him at the most astonishing moment of the stadium, which caused many to weep. According to the source, King Charles has requested that Princess Catherine keep a watch on Prince Louis during these years in order to maintain a healthy balance in his personal affairs and to correct his erratic behavior. This could be something that has the potential to cause problems in the future, and it's possible that this will not be beneficial for the future of the monarchy. He shared his worries concerning his son, Prince Louis, who displayed symptoms of disobedience and a lack of control. He was concerned about the conduct of their child. The monarch was aware of the fact that it had become essential for the young prince to be provided with an appropriate education and direction, with the goal of shaping him into a person who holds himself accountable and behaves appropriately. Princess Catherine, after considerable contemplation, agreed that it was the king's recommendation to transfer Prince Louis to a severe environment where he might get the required discipline and supervision to restrain his wild impulses. The king made the suggestion available to Princess Catherine. She was aware of the need to establish excellent morals and conduct in their child at an early age, and she was also aware that a well-organized atmosphere would prove advantageous for him. The fact that Prince William and Princess Catherine are parenting three royal kids when the attentions of the entire globe are watching every move they make is bound to be a strain for them. Despite Prince William maintaining a scrupulous parenting regulation to ensure all his kids feel equally, they have encountered a number of obstacles, including Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis's awareness of their differences from Prince George. Despite the strain, the Wales family appears to be doing well, Catherine has shown that she represents the leaders of all families, and Charlotte has demonstrated to the world that she resembles her mother's miniature version of herself during her inaugural tournament at Wimbledon. A significant portion of this is probably attributable to the modern approach that the royal couple has been taking in parenting their children. For example, they have made certain that Prince George is not going to feel compelled to continue following in the footsteps of Prince William in the armed forces. Additionally, they've made certain that their youngest kid, Prince Louis, continues to be encouraged to continue pursuing his present dream job, which is becoming a Wimbledon ball boy. Having said that, how does the king feel about this modern approach? And what did his mother, Queen Elizabeth, think of it when he was born? It's been said by a former royal journalist that they are fully supporting it. 
Whatever does vary from generation to generation, you have to keep in mind that the Queen, who passed away, had no knowledge whatsoever of what it was that school alongside other kids, a source reports. Governors merely educated her throughout her time, as she had never attended school herself. Through sending Charles off to attend college, she broke with tradition, and he subsequently violated tradition and decided to comply with Diana's request by sending both of their boys, William and Harry, to Eton, as compared to Gordonstown in Scotland. Historians believe that there's no doubt that the two monarchs, the late Queen Elizabeth and King Charles, would completely support Catherine and William's modern, directly involved and upbringing of their children. This is because these little departures from the customary training for royal kids leave no doubt. There's absolutely no question in my mind that both the Queen and King Charles were completely on board with the manner in which William and Catherine are raising their kids, she stated. It ought to have been made abundantly obvious that they were able to prioritize the welfare of their kids above their royal obligations for as long as feasible. Both the period they spent in Norfolk, where William worked as a helicopter pilot, and the time they spent on the island of Anglesey in Wales were very valuable to them. At that time, life had been as normal as it could possibly get for someone who was part of the royal household. As a result of their high role as royals, and the reality that there were currently fewer royals to go around, duty has started taking over, the speaker said. In my opinion, both Charles and the Queen acknowledged that their early years were not entirely perfect, or at least that they were unable to take advantage of the contemporary hands-on method of upbringing. This is despite the fact that both Charles and the Queen were ardent believers in the importance of tradition and history. I believe that the late Queen surely would have acknowledged and the keen did respect the manner in which these three kids are being raised up in an environment of affection safety, as well as as much normality as possible, according to the knowledgeable individual. A single parent is generally always there to pick up their children from school and to greet them when they return home. In addition to this, they make every effort to avoid celebrating their birthdays and holidays, and their daily lives at home seem to be relaxed and enjoyable. You obviously wish to provide the best for your children and grandchildren, as well as great-grandchildren and myself. I believe William and Catherine, and especially, particularly Catherine, are likely to be a source of much respect for the manner in which they're cultivating their brilliant young family and adopting somewhat a more laid-back style of royal life. Thank you for watching today's video. We ask that you kindly share your ideas with us, and we bid you farewell for the time being.